quick disclaimer, this video is not sponsored by Origin Realms, but I am a staff member on the server. This video is supposed to give you information about features on the server and how you can use them in your playthrough. Enjoy! Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another Origin Realms Showcase. My name is Narfi, and uh, today we're going to be going through a few things that people have had questions about, and uh, things that are a little bit more random on the server. And uh, to do this, we've built the new, the the, the beautiful, the, the fantastic uh, Fredrickson Laboratories. Fredrickson is actually joining us today as well, and uh, we will be walking through some of the pieces uh, that are a little bit more discreet, and uh, walk you through how they work. And, uh, how you can use them for yourself in your playthrough. It's gonna be a great time. These features are kind of all over the place. There's a, a bunch of different ones that we're going to be uh, looking through today. So if you want a specific feature, I do have a table of contents down in the description and you can click wherever you want down there and uh, learn about the features that you specifically wanna learn about. Or you could watch the entire video because there's bound to be hilarious random things that happen and uh, I think you'll enjoy it. So uh, stick around. As you can see in this room, we have a lot of features that we're going to be covering uh, but they won't all be in this video So you're gonna need to subscribe and hang out and you'll be able to see the other features that we don't showcase in this video in uh, In another video probably the next one. So uh, subscribe hang out come vibe I'll show you more features and we'll have some fun today We'll be covering everything on this wall as well as uh, one piece over there because I couldn't fit it on this wall so <laughs> uh, We're gonna be fitting all of these things into this one video and like I said There are timestamps in the description and you can go directly to uh, what you want to learn about before we jump into it though I wanted to let you know about this. All these features you're seeing come from a server by the name of Origin Realms, and uh, you can actually experience this for yourself. This server is a 1.17.1 Java Minecraft vanilla server that you can connect to today with the uh, IP that is on the screen right now. So uh, join there. There's a website in the description as well, and I think you're going to really enjoy it. I have been here since the end of January, and uh, none of it has gotten old. It has only been fun, and updates have been fantastic. Fantastic. So I highly recommend you come check it out and uh, see all the cool vanilla features that we have here And with that, let's go ahead and get into the first feature which is Bewitched potions. This is a magic item We're gonna be covering three different types of items and the first is the magic items uh, and this is uh, Bewitched potions as you can see they have a little bit of a different texture from the normal potions uh, Normal potions don't have this like glowing fancy effect to them and these can be kind of uh, kind of cool as you can see in here We've got a health boost Boost 2 potion, a speed 4 potion, and a jump boost 4 potion. None of these you can actually brew in vanilla Minecraft. Even this one that's up here in this item frame, this is a haste 2 potion, and that is something we're going to test out. All of these potions do actually work and give you the effect that they say that they give you. Uh, you can't brew them. There's no way to brew them. The only way to get them is from witch huts in the resource world, and uh, you just got to locate them and track them down. But let's go ahead and show you how all these work. Let's start with the, uh, how about the health boost potion first? I think that's that's probably a good start. Uh, if we go ahead and drink the health boost potion, you can see it gives us four extra hearts up on up on the, the top left of our heart bar there, and those are legit hearts. It uh, gives us the health boost effect for uh, a while. As you can see, it gives it for eight minutes. That's such a long time. It gives a great effect. It's super helpful. It's super nice. If you're in a tough situation and you got this plus a golden apple, uh, you can totally heal yourself up, give yourself a little bit of extra hearts when you're trying to defeat some sort of mob. We're gonna also try out the uh, swiftness and the leaping potion at the same time so we can just kind of see what happens. There's speed four, Woo. And there is the uh, the jump boost, Whoa, oh my gosh. This is, <laughs> this is crazy. This is very, very excessive. <laughs> I don't know when you'll ever need this, but maybe, you know, the speed is fun for like, escaping something or, or a race or something running around as fast like this and the jump boost potion maybe it uh, I don't know you're building or something and you need to get up to a higher place I don't know you whatever you want to use it for it's uh, super helpful and super effective as you can tell running this fast is running my hunger down so this is this is crazy but man is it fun look how fast this is it's so crazy fast plus I'm so small on the screen now because of my FOV wow it's crazy I only got this for 30 more seconds so let's run all the way out here and see if we can find a good spot for the uh, the third haste two potion maybe down here can we see maybe down here uh, let me just boop light that all up let's head down here maybe yeah it seems like a pretty good spot maybe we'll find something oh ravine perfect oh, I'm being attacked though but with my jump boost and speed I can oh I guess <laughs> didn't even need to 
let's see, is there water down here at all? There's not. I need to like try and I guess get down here. I wanted to see if I could get down to like diamond level and like mine as fast as I could and see if I could find diamonds, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that because I don't have water. Hello, friendo. What if I just try to jump? Let's see if I can just get down to like I don't uh, I don't I don't trust it though. I don't trust myself to make it. <gasps> oh no! Oh, Oh, the health boost saved my life. See, this is this is why you want to use these potions because they can save your life like that. Oh my gosh. All right, we're down at like level 13. I think this is level 12 over here. So uh, let's uh, hold on. Take this guy out first and then let's try. Oh my gosh, I'm being attacked. This is what happens when I don't bring torches or anything. Let's try out this haste potion because that's, uh, this could be really cool. And plus I've got my golden boy all ready to go with efficiency five, silk touch, all the things. Let's see. Let's see if we could find ourselves some di- We found some platinum already. That's good. That's a- that's a plus. Let's just go. Let's just go fast. We got rubies. We got rubies. That's amazing. There's some redstone over there. Oh, ho, 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 ho. We found more cave system. We found all this stuff. This is great. It's like mining with a beacon, but it's just a potion. And you can just- you can just use it at any time. That's crazy. That's actually really useful. <laughs> I don't use this enough. There it is! Diamonds! We found some diamonds. We got four diamond ore right there. And more rubies. Look at that. Beautiful. Wow. This is great. See that? Oh, more diamonds! Oh my gosh! This is incredible! This is like, this is the way to mine, guys. This is the way to do it. Haste 2. Haste 2 is crazy. I mean, we already knew that with beacons, but like, in potion form, this is incredible. I want to use up the entirety of this haste potion so we can see exactly how much we got. We're almost at the end of it. It's almost gone, and we're gonna see. All right, that's the end of it. So we got seven diamond ore, all of this stone, some rubies, some redstone, a couple pebbles, I guess. Look at that! That's crazy, and we didn't even pick up some of the last final stone. There's more There's more stacks of stone out here. So if you need, like, resources or whatever, the haste two potion, that's the way to go, man. That's the way to go. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is the first of our magical items, the Bewitched Potions. And next on the list is this, the Shadow Cloak, which is an item that drops from wraiths, just like the uh, the relics. And if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. There's a little eye card right there in the top right. You can go to click there, and it's a, it's a great video. Um, but yes, this also drops from the wraiths, and uh, it gives you a pretty darn cool effect. If I'm out here fighting this zombie, it's like, oh, He's, he's hurting me. Look at that. Oh, man, he's hurting me so bad. I better I better try to escape. Poof. I'm gone. I have disappeared. I am invisible. Boop. Hello. I'm here now. <laughs> How are you doing? Uh, I'm, but I can still run. It essentially gives you uh, complete invisibility from all mobs and, uh, and players. So this works really well for zombies. I think it even works on wraiths. Let's try it. <laughs> hey, buddy. How's it going? Oh boy. Oh boy, you're gonna hit hard. Oh! Whoop. It does. It sure enough, it totally does work on wraiths. So I'm gonna just run over here, and he is not targeting me anymore. Look at that! Perfect little escape. So yes, the function of this item is to basically put you into full shadow mode, so you can disappear and uh, run around and uh, do as you please and escape some mobs. It's super handy, especially in some farming situations or when you're in a tight squeeze with some brutal, scary mobs. The third and final of our three magical items that we're gonna cover today is this, the Fang Charm. And this is a pretty fun item. It's something that um, could be useful in some really cool combat situations. And uh, let's see how it works. As our first example, let's go ahead and use this pig here. Let's say I'm in combat with this pig. This pig is is going crazy and it's attacking me. It's super brutal. It's the most brutal mob in the game. Fighting it. I'm fighting it. It's so, it's so, so brutal. It's so, you're such a, it's so, it's so bad. It's such a crazy mob. You get the point. <laughs> Let's say he's attacking me a bunch and I just want to inflict a little bit more damage. Uh, we can just right click with this. And it sends a nice fang something, whatever these are called. Uh, it sends those fangs uh, to uh, attack the mob. And it does a pretty decent amount of damage, as you can see. I killed that in two hits. Um, pretty good. Pretty good stuff. And uh, you can also do something else fun with it. If you hold shift when you're right by a mob, you do this. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. Hey, guess what? You, you can make a circle around you. So if there's mobs swarming you, you can just shift and right click with this. And it goes whoop. 
uh, as you can see, it does use up the Fang Charm when you do uh, uh, activate it, but uh, it inflicts a little bit of damage, and it's pretty handy when you're in combat situations uh, where there's a bunch of mobs around you, and you're trying to uh, trying to get out of a tough situation. Right now, obviously, there aren't a lot of situations where this is the case, but, you know, if you're being swarmed with zombies and stuff, that seems great. These will likely be more useful in the future when more things are released. Let's go ahead and leave our little pork chop friends in here. Um, they served us well and gave us a good uh, good show for the fang charms. And those three items are the magic items for this video. Obviously, there are other items that utilize, you know, quote unquote magic, but those ones are the specifically uh, magic themed items that I felt fit into the magic category. The next items that we're going to cover are the utility items. But first, if you're enjoying this video, you should consider subscribing. It's completely free and it supports me. It helps out a ton. And uh, I don't think you're going to regret it. There's a lot of fun stuff that I'm posting on this channel and uh, new videos are coming out soon, especially if you want to see what's on that other wall, you should subscribe. Now with that quick plug out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the transit block. This is something that a lot of people have questions about because it's a bit of a confusing topic, uh, but I'm going to show you exactly how it works here in this video, and we're going to need this one here, as well as this one in here, plus all of these crystal shards. Uh, these will help us, and some purple crystal blocks. Obviously, you don't need purple crystal blocks for this, but these are the things that I had extra, and that's what we're going to use today. The transit block is essentially a teleportation pad and these are super duper cool looking, by the way, uh, and they'll get even more cool looking here in a second once we activate it. Uh, these two are transit blocks, and if I want to get from one here to the other, I'm going to need to do some specific stuff to link these up. If you right click on the transit block, it opens this little menu here, and you can see some uh, confusing things. Here you can see a little outline of a crystal shard, uh, and you can see that there's a, a, a you know bar here of some sort, and if I click here, you can see more crystal shards. But what does all of this mean? What does it mean? None of this makes any sense to me. This is so confusing. Well, if you look here in the second menu, you can see a specific uh, orientation of crystals. And if you look over here onto this one, you can see a different orientation of crystals. And that is the specific code for your transit block. Let's say I want to get from this transit block to this transit block, and I need to link them up. Uh, I'm going to try to uh, input this transit blocks code into this transit block here. Uh, and how do I do that? Oh, well, I go over here, I check this code. What is this here? Orange, yellow, red. All right, I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna put those here. Orange, yellow, red. Let's check the second one. Uh, yellow, blue, yellow. Obviously this goes quicker if you uh, know the code or like you just took a photo of it on your phone or whatever, have it next to you, red, orange, green. Uh, and that's, uh, that's how you can link them up. So. This transit block is properly linked now to this guy. As you can see, this code here matches this code here. But now what do we do? We need to power this guy. We need to give this thing a little bit of juice so it can actually power, uh, or it can, it can actually teleport us. So what do we do? We feed it with either crystal shards here. We can put crystal shards here, or we can put crystal blocks in as power. And, uh, oh, hello, friend. <laughs> that was <laughs> that was not planned. Uh, I wanted a relic, but he only dropped bones, whatever. Uh, back to this. As you can see, the transit block has lit up, and uh, this is completely set up and ready to go. And as you can see, I teleported right to the other block. And uh, also, as you can notice, you can note here, this transit block doesn't have to be powered for you to teleport to the block. If you want to teleport to the to a block, that's okay. You don't have to power it. But if you want to use a block to teleport to another location, that means it needs to be powered. The most confusing part for people is this right here. As you can see, there's a code here and there's a code here, which one is which. Uh, you can see this one is the one where you can actually input shards. So this one does not belong to the transit block. This this code does belong to the transit block. Went ahead and copied this code right here so I can just input that perfectly here. And there we go. So now this block is also properly linked to the other one. So if I power this guy with some crystal shards, and as you can see, if I drop another crystal shard there, it does work like the same way. Uh, this is now on and this works the same way. It teleports you over to the other block and it works no problem. You'll also notice that there's a bit of a cooldown, so uh, I can stand here immediately after I teleported, and it doesn't just immediately teleport me away. This is handy because uh, if we didn't have that, you would just instantly teleport between both these blocks, and it would be sort of a portal loop where <laughs> there's just no escape. And yeah, that's how transit blocks work. Obviously, uh, they don't work cross-dimensionally, so between different servers on the server, you can't do that, so it doesn't work between realms, that sort of, sort of thing. But on realms, you can put these anywhere in the realm, link them up, and it'll teleport you 
to that place. So these work great for little teleportation hubs and uh, spaces where you can teleport to other parts of your realm without having to set a home. Plus the teleportation like fade out and fade back in is just super cool. So like, <laughs> I'd say you should totally use them. <laughs> They're really fun. Here's a good example of how you can use one. I have this ruined setup here on my main realm with a transit block down here. And if I go down this transit block, it goes into my main secret base area. So as you can see, for whatever reason, that door's open, but we don't talk about that. This is my main storage room, this is my main farming room, and that's my vault. Uh, and that's how I can get down here without having to teleport. Well, I, I guess I do have to teleport with the transit block, but I don't have to set a home down there every time. If I need to, I can just pop over here and go down through the transit block. And uh, that's pretty great because there's no entrance anywhere else into that space. So visitors can't get in there. Uh, and then these can only be activated by resident and trusted, so, and owner, obviously. So these um, also don't let visitors in. So that is the transit block. That should be everything that there is to know about those ones. If I missed anything, go from, go ahead and uh, drop it down in the comments. Um, but that should be, for the most part, what you need to know about transit blocks. The next item is the capture net. And uh, I actually, there's a mob out here that's perfect for this. I think I can capture them in this. I think I can capture wraiths in this. Um, but this is a capture net. And essentially what this lets you do is capture mobs and move them to other places. These are pretty rare. You can really only get them from keys right now and uh, from balloon drops, but they are uh, pretty rare, pretty valuable because they let you capture mobs and transport them between servers. So before this sun comes up, did it disappear? Where'd the wraith go? Bro, no. Where'd the wraith go? I wanted to capture the wraith. Nah, man. All right, I guess this creeper will do. We'll go ahead and capture this creeper. If I just, oh, don't blow up. Oh man. I'll go ahead and grab that creeper instead. If you just run up to them and you right click with them, it just captures them right in the net. It just goes whoop. And so now I have a capture net with the creeper inside of it. It also shows you who captured the mob uh, and it does keep NBT data. So uh, if you have a named mob and you capture it, it keeps the name. I believe it also keeps things like colors for uh, things like, you know, foxes or horses. So it keeps pretty much all the data of the mob so you can move it between servers. So if I go ahead and uh, teleport to the resource world here, uh, this is a completely different part of the server. And I go ahead and place this guy down. It does consume the capture net, but it places the mob that you captured in that exact spot where you place it down. So this guy, uh, I'm just gonna let him live his life and uh, go back to my realm. <laughs> Someone might have a fun time with that. They're just, they're just gonna teleport to, to a resource world spawn and there's just gonna be a creeper there. I uh, probably, probably should have thought this through before I did that. <laughs> so yep, that's another handy utility item, the capture net. The next handy utility item is the totem of keeping and I don't have an extra one. So we're just gonna have to use this one and use it up. So this, this item frame is just gonna be empty now. <laughs> so what does a totem of keeping do? Well, it's kind of like a totem of undying in that you can uh, use it to save yourself from death, but this does it in a bit of a different way since it's difficult to recover your stuff in the resource world. If you have this guy anywhere in your inventory, it does not have to be in your offhand slot. This will uh, save you from dying. Literally, it'll, I mean, it won't save you from dying. It'll save you from losing your stuff when you do die. So uh, I'm gonna show you by jumping off of this high platform what happens <laughs> when, you, uh, when you have a totem of keeping in your inventory. Uh, the reason it only needs to be in your inventory is because we have offhand slot cosmetics. So uh, keeping it in your offhand sometimes can't happen. So it just goes anywhere in your inventory and uh, it works just fine. So as you can see, I've got bones, I've got, you know, th these nice tools and such, and uh, obviously I'm in, uh, I'm in a, one of my own realms, but uh, this does work in the resource world as well, uh, where you would lose all of your stuff if you died, and you wouldn't be able to really find it very easily. So, this is what happens when you die, and I jump off, and we just fall, oh boy. As you can see, we get a little total animation there, and uh, all of your stuff you can see it in your hotbar. I mean, it, it doesn't disappear if you don't have a totem either, but if I respawn, I respawn at Origin Isles, and as you can see, I've got all of this stuff. Got all my stuff still. The one thing you do lose when you die is all of your levels. So as you can see, I have zero levels now. I had eight before. Uh, and the reason I only had eight when I had 50 at the beginning of this video is because I died to a freaking wraith between recordings. <laughs> but if I go ahead and teleport here, you can see there's my XP on the ground. Pick it up. It's It lost a little bit, but it was there. It was there. It does drop your XP, but it doesn't drop any of the other items in your inventory. This obviously also applies to armor and whatever other stuff you have on you at the time. Uh, everything in your inventory will be saved and you won't 
have to lose it and get it all again. You can find these in balloon crates in the resource world or in crate keys, which we will cover here in a second. The fourth utility item is the crocodile tooth, and these are dropped from crocodiles. For whatever reason, their spawn rates right now are bugged, so I can't show you where you would find them, but you usually find them in swamps, and if you kill them, they can drop crocodile teeth. And there's a few things we can do here. Uh, you can see we've got some uh, cobblestone and, uh, and some iron and some redstone, because you can make a really cool uh, a really, really cool block. I'll go ahead and do this, make this in sort of the shape of a piston and replace the wood with crocodile teeth. You can see we get spike traps. And uh, what spike traps can do is destroy blocks. They're a redstone activated block that can literally destroy blocks. Let's go ahead and run over here and I'll kind of show you a good use case for this. Uh, if I drop this down, as you can see, there's that. I'll show you also kind of what it does just in, uh, in the regular world here. If I power this with redstone, you can see spikes pop up like this, it hurts the player, um, and it's, uh, it's, uh, yeah, kind of cool looking. Like, look at that. It looks like just teeth. It's kind of wild. But this lets you, uh, destroy whatever block is on top of it. So, as you can see, it, uh, broke the block that was just there, and if I break it again, it breaks that block. Kind of handy. Obviously, there are some limitations, like it can't break bedrock, or, uh, I don't know if it can break obsidian. Um, I'm pretty sure it can't, but, uh, yeah, it's kind of neat that you can just break blocks with this, and, uh, you can use this in some really cool ways. For example, as you can see, I am, uh, I have this powered in here in the water, and, uh, as you can see, I have concrete powder, so if I go ahead and build this up, uh, I don't know, how about, like, up to 32 blocks? All right, there's 32. I'm gonna drop back down into the water. As you can see, we've got a stack of concrete powder here, and uh, I actually have some observers in my inventory here. So if I go ahead and take this, and then do this and make a little bit of an observer clock, you can see it breaks the blocks as they fall down, and it's just an automatic concrete maker. Like, how cool is that? Just automatically makes concrete. And there it is. And I'm gonna go ahead and break those so that it's gonna stop. But yeah, there you go. Look at that, check it out, 32 concrete. It just breaks it all and uh, gives you all the concrete blocks. Kinda handy. So that's the cool feature with the crocodile teeth. Uh, obviously you can uh, find some more cool use cases for uh, those guys, but for now, that's my uh, that's my little showcase of them. They're kind of neat. I think they're a fun little utility block. The final utility item is the rocket boots. And uh, as you can see, I've got a pair here that has 48 fuel and has half durability. Uh, it's because these are used. <laughs> I use these on a regular basis. Uh, they do start with full durability. These started with 90 fuel, but you can get them also with 30. These ones up here have six fuel, as you can see. <laughs> um, they do start at the even 30 or 90. These are both just used. Uh, and they both have their durability down because uh, I guess I used them as armor for a while as well because they they give you a couple armor armor bits here. But as you can see, you just put them on as boots, and uh, they give you the neat little effect of being able to fly in survival. This isn't exactly flight as you would expect it. Like Elytra, this is creative flight. Um, so as you can see, I'm just flying like I would be in creative, and I can drop down here. It gives these nice little particle effects and sound effects, and uh, yeah, look at that. I'm just flying. I'm literally flying. Also, as you can see, it doesn't give you any fall damage. Uh, you can use that to uh, to whatever, you know, whatever use case you need that for, but no fall damage. So you can just whoop, boink, and uh, that works pretty nicely. So these are great. They do give you a little bit of armor. I don't think they're as nice as, you know, the, uh, the platinum stuff or the relic stuff, but they are really fun and they're they're a handy feature handy utility item to get up to higher places and to build some stuff i used them quite a bit on this roof because it's hard to reach up here so i just fly up and uh, place things and uh, yeah super handy super handy feature for uh, all your building needs i do want to say if you're in the resource world they don't work if i try to fly it in chat says rocket boots are only uh able to be used in realms and that is intentional because we don't want you to be able to just fly around the resource world and find structures super easily we want everyone to be on the same level in the resource world and uh, that the, so the rock boots don't give you any advantage in that space they also don't work here in origin isles and uh that is also intentional just because you know I don't know, there's no need for you to fly out here. Like, <laughs> you can get to everything on the ground that you need to, and roofs are not that interesting. So we're just leaving you with uh, no rocket boots here. They only work in realms. And that is the rocket boots. You can get these in uh, specifically legendary crates. 
uh, and not really anywhere else right now. Speaking of legendary crates, that's the next topic we're gonna be covering, crates. But before that happens, I wanted to let you know of this cool place called Discord. I have a Discord server and the link is down in the description. It's a fun place where, uh, I'm gonna just slowly move away from the zombie. It's a fun place where you can interact with me more and uh, I post thumbnails there before the videos come out and you can help me with ideas. I uh, got most of my Q&A questions from there. It's a really fun place. So I uh, highly recommend you check it out. All right, after that quick little detour, let's, uh, let's talk about crates. We've got legendary crates and rare crate keys. Uh, these are the basic crates. So uh, there's three different types of crates, at least the way that I've organized them. There's the basic crates, which are the legendary and rare crates, the cosmetic crates, and the event crates. But first, we're going to talk about the basic crates. On screen right now, you can see a list of what you can get from rare and legendary crate keys. Uh, you can find these on the store at uh, store.originrealms.com. Um, but yes, this is the stuff that you can get from them. It's pretty random and and uh, all of those things are useful. So let's go ahead and start by opening these guys. Uh, let's start with the rare key, because I think that sounds fun. Uh, if all you have to do to uh, open these is you just hold the key in your hand and you just right click, and it gets you right into the crate animation. As you can see, it's beautiful. And it has a little bit of music, it has a little bit of little fun sound effects. Let's see what we get. Five planners boxes. So. That's decent. Five planner boxes are decent, but I don't really need planners boxes. So if I don't want these, as you can see at the top, punch to re-roll, there's a way you can just punch. You just you click whatever punch button you have, and you can re-roll your crate. So it'll just literally open it again. Same chances for everything. Uh, just to see if you can get something just a little bit better. Or, uh, you know, if you like the first one, you can get that one too. 32 rubies, it wasn't as, really as good, so. <laughs> but you just crouch, you press shift on your keyboard if that's your crouch button, and you can get your prize. Let's go ahead and try out the legendary crate key. Uh, here we go, get into the, oh, I'm in third person. <laughs> Hello, pumpkin. Here's the legendary crate animation. And as you can see, it scrolls through, gets some cool stuff. 32 ruby blocks, that's not bad, but I think I want something better so I can just punch to re-roll. Let's see. Singing. And there you go, rocket boots with 90 fuel. So uh, as you can see, there's, there's how you get rocket boots, sweet. That's actually a super rare drop with the 90 fuel. That's great, I'm gonna be using those, dang. Also, if you noticed, it dropped me at spawn when I came out of the crate animation. That's just the natural place that you go. Uh, so if you're confused as to why you suddenly appeared at spawn, it's just, that's just what happens is you go into the crate animation and you appear back at spawn. The next crate key is the cosmetic crates. And these are super fun because you can get them for cheaper than the legendary crates. And uh, they're also great because they give you cosmetics. So uh, let's see what we can get out of this crate key as just the same with those guys you can just right click and it goes into the animation so we got common weave ponytail here i don't really want that so i can punch to re-roll this one has more re-rolls than just one uh and we'll see what happens common hair buns don't really want those either let's see Rare chef hat, not bad, but I do want to just see if I can get anything better. I probably won't. I'll probably get something common. Let's see if I get anything good from this one. <laughs> Come on. Come on, there's so many options. Oh, legendary Rusty's hat. You know what? I will take that. I will gladly take that. So there you go. It just gives you the little cosmetic right there. It just pops right in your inventory, and uh, that is pretty great. It gives you this little, little fun little, you know, graphic here, and you can just grab the token. It's pretty handy. Cosmetic tokens, however, are for another day, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna leave that in there, because uh, we'll deal with all these cosmetics on a later date. You're gonna have to subscribe for that one. <laughs> Quick note from the cosmetic keys, there are currently 10 normal, cos common cosmetics, 12 rare cosmetics, 15 epic cosmetics, and 23 legendary cosmetics that you can get. So, uh, I would say, Try your hand at it, see what you can get. There's also going to be more cosmetics added to this as we go, uh, as more cosmetics are made and uh, that sort of thing. So I'd highly recommend you get some of these and uh, see what you can get. There have also been limited run cosmetics that have been put into the cosmetic crate keys uh, and those only work for a little bit of time before they're removed and you can't get them from the cosmetic crate keys again. So limited edition stuff is pretty, uh, pretty valuable. Speaking of limited edition items, we also have event crate keys and event crate keys are keys that were made specifically 
for an event. So uh, as you can see, this is the summer crate key. This was released during the uh, the 2021 summer event, which uh, just ended, just came to a close recently. And uh, these won't be available in the store likely until either next year or they will just never be available again. There were also other keys like Valentine's Day and uh, St. Patrick's Day and Easter, but uh, this is the one that was most recent. And if you want to see those other ones, you're going to have to either come onto the server and get some yourself or uh, I'm sorry, you're going to have to go see someone else. <laughs> see someone else recording this because I only had extra uh, summer keys that I was willing to use for this video. So if I go ahead and right click with this one, you can see that we go into a special animation. It's underwater. It's so cool. Look at this. And it's scrolling through and uh, these specifically give you event items. As you can see, I got a shell axe from that, which is not a bad roll. It's not a bad roll. I'm not sure if I want to keep that, but these do uh, specifically give you event cosmetics and items and furniture. So uh, if I keep, I'm just going to reroll. I like the shell axe. I know some people are going to yell at me for rerolling on a shell axe, but we're going to move on. We're going to see what else we can get because there's all sorts of stuff that you can get from these ones uh, and they're pretty valuable. There's a shell shovel, slightly less good than the axe, but we're gonna reroll again. I just wanna see what we can get. I just wanna see, just wanna scroll through them. Uh, if I get something really good on this one, I'll keep it, but uh, we'll see what we get. Shark tail cosmetic, you know what? Shark tail cosmetic's kind of fun. We'll, uh, we'll go ahead and crouch on that one. It's another good little plug, uh, good little plug for that. So as you can see here, uh, limited shark tail cosmetic with the summer holiday exclusive tag underneath it. As you can see here also, I have an Easter sword in my inventory and that says 2021 Easter exclusive because these were only available during the Easter event. So um, the, uh, the limited run stuff, there's the summer holiday exclusive stuff. That is stuff that's going to be coming back potentially in the future. Um, and this is something that is exclusive to the previous 2021 event. If you're confused about how limited and exclusive stuff works, uh, I'd highly recommend you dig through the discord a little bit. There is some places where we explained it It's a little bit difficult for me to explain in a video in uh, such a short amount of time But there is a reason behind it and uh, it's pretty pretty helpful It's incredibly helpful to be able to uh, differentiate between different cosmetics and different cosmetics at different times So uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna move on from that for now And uh, if you're confused go ahead and ask in the discord or if you want you can leave a comment and someone can answer for you there But that ladies and gentlemen is uh, all the stuff that we have to cover I'm gonna go ahead and drop these rubies in here because why not? Not ruin my uh, perfect beautiful ruby count that is all the stuff for today uh, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed all these things and learned from it maybe uh, there's some really cool stuff here included in all of these item frames and uh, there's some really cool items as you can see some of the magic items are super fun the transit block is really cool capture nets are super useful crocodile teeth are really fun uh, lots of just fun stuff and crates you can find on the store all that stuff uh, but there is still more to come so uh, feel free to subscribe if you want to see that video as well and uh, I will catch you in the next video whenever that may be I appreciate you all coming and hanging out here at Fredrickson Laboratories and uh, I appreciate you all I'll see you guys in the next video bye bye